And so this is 9.4 continued. So example four, it says determine the convergence or divergence of this problem here. So when I compare it, I'm going to compare it to um, the square root of n, keep the same power, and keep the same power in the denominator. I just don't want these constants in there because those are usually the parts that make it um, more complex, okay? So I'm going to compare it to this. Now, if I simplify that, or don't simplify it, it's up to you, but eventually you want to do the limit comparison test. So let's take the limit as n goes to infinity of a n, which is the original, over the b n I'm comparing it to. So square root of n over n squared plus 1 times the reciprocal of this, which is the same as dividing by it. And the square roots will cancel. I'll get the limit as n goes to infinity of n squared over n squared plus 1, which if I reduce everybody by n squared, I get 1 over 1 plus 1 over n squared. That guy will go to to zero, which means I end up with one over one, which is equal to one. This is finite, which means that a n and b n both converge or both diverge. That's all the limit comparison test tells me. It does not tell me which, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the one I'm comparing it to because this one's easier to look at than the one that has the constants in it. So if I look at Bn, I have this series here, which can be simplified into n to the one half over n squared. And for the P series, because P series is the only one that has n with the power, the variables have to be downstairs. So if I were to divide um, both the numerator and the denominator by n to the one half, I'd get one here, but here I would have um, two minus a half, and two minus a half is going to be three halves, and so that becomes my new power, okay? If you wanna see that side work worked out, it's n to the one half divided by n to the one half, and then n squared divided by n to the one half. So here again, they reduce each other, I just get one. Here you end up having to subtract the powers two minus a half, which is where the three halves came from, okay? Now here, p equals three over two, which is greater than one, which means that bn converges. And according to the limit comparison test, that means it also by the limit comparison test, um, a n also converges. Okay, and that's what we wanted to know, what was happening to our series there. So that's the end of this particular section.